Let's take a look at some of the audio plugin enhancements found in Cubase 11. Some of the plugins have had a new, more modern graphic user interface that are also high DPI compatible, such as our test generator and the mixer delay plugin. Within the channel strip, we could now have a user interface that's directly for the maximizer plugin found under the limiter category. So now we could see the different metering options and a more appealing user interface when using that in the channel strip. Other plugins that have been updated, we'll listen to it on our master bus, is the Imager plugin. So before it was just a single band for the Imager. And when you do that, often the low end can get very muddy and washy sounding. It's now a multi-band Imager plugin. So let's take a listen. So if I want to take the low end and make that wider, that often can sound a little washy or muddy. So what I want to do at the low end often is to make it a little more in the center so it's more focused and out of the way of other frequencies. And let's take my upper mids and make that sound wider. And we could audition each band and adjust the frequency range of each band. And let's take my highs and we'll make that wider We'll go ahead and just bypass. And enable. Another plugin which has been updated is the Frequency plugin, which is a very powerful eight band linear phase EQ. We could choose whether the EQ bands will each be for mid side, stereo, or left right. As we audition different bands, we could put it into listen mode. And as I make an adjustment, we could hear only what we're adjusting. And one of the things that people would want it was the ability of having a dynamic EQ. So I could enable the dynamic mode, click here, and now we could have dynamics just on a particular frequency that we want to work with. And if I wanted to come here, we could adjust our different settings for the EQ, or again, the dynamics, just on that particular shape. And if I wanted to see more controls where I don't have to toggle back and forth, I could click here and I could select each band and see all the different filter and dynamics functions. Another plugin that's been introduced that's brand new for version 11 is one called Squasher. And what Squasher is going to allow us to do is to have a very powerful up down compressor. So let's go ahead and listen to an example. And it's often used in dance music. So I'm just gonna add it to my kick and snare now. And let's add it on the rest of the tracks. And we'll bypass it on everything but the kick and snare. So when you need to have like a particular synth line kind of pop out of the mix. And as we look at some of the controls, we'll have for each band a different mix. We'll have drive, your up and down settings as well. Now, one of the things that's very unique about this is the sidechain capability. So as soon as we enable the sidechain, what we're gonna be 
allowed to do within one single plugin is each of the sidechain bands could have its own unique independent sidechain input. So the Squasher plugin can have my kick be the sidechain input on one frequency, the snare on another, and a synth on a third band of the Squasher. Now, if that wasn't flexible enough, so we have three independent sidechain inputs per instance of Squasher. If we have an eight band EQ plugin, such as frequency, we thought it would be cool that each band within the frequency could have its own independent sidechain from different sources. As you can see, there's great enhancements with plugins for their GUIs to make them more engaging. Added capabilities such as the multiband imager, the dynamic mode on the frequency plugin, a new plugin squasher for dynamics, and again, incredible flexibility with the sidechain input with three independent sidechains for squasher and eight for frequency. These are the types of plugins that could really take your mix to the next level with Cubase 11.